Hey guys, it's Mike here, K9 KMV, uh, in my shack. Uh, you don't see me in here very often on my videos. Um, but today I received something uh, through the mail that I ordered uh, a couple weeks ago. And it's a new antenna that I'm going to try out. Um, this is it. So I'm going to open it up and let's see what we have inside here. Okay, so we got a... A thank you note that's very nice from the vendor oh wow it really is small I knew it was going to be small but I didn't know it was going to be this small very well packaged here as well all right so this is it it's the spark plug antenna so uh, let's get to a closer look Okay, so this is the antenna. It comes from Spark Plug Gear. They're based in Wisconsin. Um, it doesn't come with the wire. Uh, it just comes as the uh, the uh, the unit here that you see. Um, it's very small, very lightweight. Um, I'll try and zoom in a little bit here so you can see it closer. Uh, obviously, it's Spark Plug shaped, but it isn't actually made from a spark plug. Some kind of plastic tubing just here, with the toroid uh, around the edge of it there. Um, it has a BNC connector on one end to connect the coax to. And then on the opposite end is a thumb screw, which uh, if I just undo real quick, uh, it's going to allow me to attach a wire to this end. Um, I'll just put a, a, a ring connector on the end of the wire, pop it on there, uh, screw it back up, and then um, we should be good to go. So I'll probably start with uh, trying to get something on on 20 meters first. So I'll start off with a length of wire, probably about 34 feet. Uh, and then um, I'm sure I have to trim it a little bit to get it down to be resonant on the 20 meter band. Um, and if that works out, then uh, I'll probably do what I've done with um, with my other end. I have another end fed half wave antenna um, where I used some banana plugs to extend the length uh, so it was resonant on 40 meters as well and it actually ends up being um, resonant on 40, 20, 15 and 10. So that's my plan to do that the same thing with uh, this antenna but first things first I'll get it set up for 20 meters first and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay so this is one end of the 26 gauge wire that I'm using for this antenna. Uh, so on this end I've put a very small ring connector on there. I crimped it and then soldered it and then finished it off by putting some uh, some heat shrink uh, on there just to give it a little bit more strength. Uh, because this wire is so thin um, it is a little bit of a concern about strain relief and um, uh, making sure that uh, that once it's up in the air um, the tension doesn't uh, try and you know bring this loose. Uh, but we'll see how that works out. Um, so here is the the spark plug antenna itself. Uh, at the bottom here, we've seen this already, but just to show you again, this is the uh, the BNC connector at the bottom here, where the coax feed line will connect to. And then at the top here is where the wire connects. So we just undo the thumb screw, put that on there. Thumb screw goes back on. Tighten that down, and that's pretty much it. We're ready now. Um, so all that's left to do is to actually take it outside, uh, get it uh, tuned up. Um, I've got about 35 feet here. I think I ended up with of wire, so it's going to be a little bit long for 20 meters, but that's okay. Um, I'll tune it and uh, trim it down um, to get it resonant for 20 meters, uh, and then we'll see how it performs. Hey guys, it's Mike here, K9 KMV. So I'm out here this afternoon, it's a beautiful day, and uh, I'm gonna try and tune the spark plug antenna. I've got the 35 feet of antenna wire wound up here, um, together with the, uh, with the actual spark plug antenna itself. So really all I need to do next is connect the end of the wire antenna. I've got a little carabiner here. Um, I'll uh, hook it to the 
to the telescopic uh, telescopic mast here. Uh, extend that up into the air. Uh, connect some coax to the antenna as well. And then I have my antenna analyzer, so I can start to measure it. But uh, we'll see where it uh, where it tunes up to, and hopefully we'll get this working on 20 meters. All right, so I've just hooked up the uh, antenna for the first time. Um, I'm hoping that you can see that in the video there. Uh, the 32-foot pole is um, is uh, at the back of my car, and then if you can see the orange wire coming down, uh, where the orange wire stops, that's where the uh, the spark plug antenna. A ballon is, um, and then the black wire that continues down is the um, is the coax, and then I've got the coax uh, that is um, connected to my antenna analyzer, which is just laying down here on the ground. Okay, so we'll just turn the analyzer on now. I got to set the frequency for 20 meters, so I'm going to go for around 14 to 50. Okay, so this is showing that um, it's actually resonant in two places, kind of close by to each other. Uh, you see how you've got a bit of a, um, you've got two dips there. Now, I'm going to have to aim for the uh, for the dip on the left hand side because if I wanted to try and make it to the dip on the right hand side, I'd have to lengthen the wire, which I can't do very easily, but I can of course uh, trim the wire. So I'm going to have some trimming to do here and uh, we'll see how this works out next. Okay, we got a little closer this time, I think. Uh, we, need, we now see that dip over at about 12.4. Okay, let's see where we're at now. I've uh, trimmed it a little bit more. Um, do a scan here. If you can see how the uh, let's see the frequency set for the analyzer, it's set at 14.25 megahertz. So I need to trim it a little bit more, but we're definitely getting closer. Okay, I just did some more trimming. Uh, so let's uh, see where we're at now. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting closer. That vertical line is at 14.250 and the little uh, little arrow pointer down at the bottom there uh, is reading at about 13.65 so um, we're only uh, we're less than one megahertz away from being being resonant now okay I just uh, trimmed a little bit more off uh, let's do another scan and see where we're at All right, I think we're there. Um, that's at 14.250. Uh, we can go all the way out to the uh, way past the band edge there. And still be at uh, at about 1.5. It doesn't seem like it's going to go any any lower than 1.5, but I think we've got a tuned antenna now for 20 meters, so um, uh, it's uh, pretty good going. All right, so last weekend I went out with my new spark plug antenna. I got everything set up for it with the uh, you know cutting the the wire to the right length. So now this weekend I've just come out um, actually to a different park. I'm at Bussy Woods 
uh, this morning. So I've got it hooked up to the IC705. I'll be running 10 watts QRP. I already had a quick scan around the band on 20 meters and there is a California QSO party going on. So quite a few strong signals coming in from there. I just got to see if I can actually uh, try and make some contacts with them and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thank you very much for that. Kilo 9, Kilo Mike Victoria, you are going to be number 1117. That's 1117 in Sonoma, Sierra, Oscar, November, Oscar, QSF. Kilo 9, Kilo Mike Victor. Roger, Roger, you're a strong 58757 into Rhode Island, Romeo, India, QSL. Alright, so that was pretty cool. I had just made uh, contacts from Chicago all the way out to California and also to Rhode Island, so I'm kind of hitting both sides of the country. Roger, 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 you got it. Okay, and my number for you is 1463, 1463, All right, so I'm about to pack things up here now. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, see how this antenna was working, and uh, it worked out pretty good. The, uh, the spark plug antenna, um, which is rated for 50 watts uh, SSB maximum, uh, but of course with the uh, with the IC705 here, I was just running 10 watts, so uh, that was uh, uh, it was plenty adequate for what I was using here. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's very small, very lightweight, which is obviously just what you want for uh, for a portable antenna. It fits in the backpack nicely. Um, it uh, it let me make some contacts from Chicago here all the way out to the West Coast in California and all the way out to the uh, the east coast to Rhode Island. Now you could probably tell I'm not originally from the US but I don't think you could get much further east than Rhode Island without making it into the uh, <laughs> in, into the water. So um, uh, hitting both coasts like that I think was pretty cool especially just running 10 watts. So um, I give it the thumbs up. I just want to say thank you to everybody for watching. And thank you as well to uh, everybody that's already subscribed to my channel. Uh, but if you are new to the channel and you like uh, like the videos that I'm putting out, uh, it'd be great if you could hit that subscribe button and uh, also hit the like button. And if you've got any comments, you know, just uh, please feel free to add them uh, to the comment section below. And uh, I try my best to respond to everybody. Um, so again, thank you. Appreciate you guys watching. And I wish you uh, 7-3. It's K9KMV.